And Katie, they'll have breakfast that morning from 8.30 until 10, and it's all free. Yeah, it's such a good opportunity. I'm wearing my pink, okay? I'm with you guys. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're out the door early this morning. There's a couple things you're going to notice. There's some big changes. The first being some pretty overcast skies. Not tracking any rain at the moment. I know we've been talking about that chance for some showers across the region. Very cloudy. So even with that sunrise just a few minutes away, you're gonna have a hard time really seeing much with all those cloudy conditions. Much warmer this morning. Very easy to tell that our dominating feature today is a warm front. You can see that temperature difference somewhere in the teens for many of us, especially as you kind of get close to where those showers are. Temperature wise, we're waking up to the 40s and 50s. I mean, we're close to 60 down in Murray this morning. So I mean, such a big change. Carmine, Mount Vernon, Harrisburg, you're still a bit on the cooler side, but that warm air, it's going to push into you in no time. 50s by mid-morning. We've got 70 right around lunchtime. Notice that chance of rain. We have a very isolated chance of showers. Pretty early this morning, pretty much over southern Illinois. Very cloudy to start our day as we just saw, but as we go into the rest of the afternoon and evening, skies will clear. Actually, mostly sunny by the end of this evening. Tracking those rain chances north, some of it may actually just stay to our north, along with those cloud chances. Uh, but uh, not expecting anything severe, so that is nice. Thursday, gorgeous, windy. As we go into Friday, that's really the next big day to focus on. It's going to be our best chance for some rain, and on top of that, maybe even some severe storms. So, got to be weather aware for the end of the work week. It's all thanks to a cold front. That's going to be our weather maker on Friday. So, behind that system into the weekend, we're tracking drastically cooler air. I mean, the temperatures you're seeing now for some of us, like Sykes, at 57. Might be the high as we go into the weekend. Clouds move in from the south. We're also going to see those rain chances move in from the northwest. But see, they really just stay somewhere in southern Illinois, clipping western Kentucky, north of Paducah. Most of us not actually only going to see any rain today. Clouds stick around until about lunchtime. By lunchtime, it pushes out of here. If we play this forward, heat of the day, tracking some 80s. It's been a while since we've seen that, about a week. Sykeston and Poplar Bluff were both right at 80. And then as we go into the overnight hours, clear conditions. Temperatures stay fairly mild, though. Waking up tomorrow morning to the mid 50s. So, I mean, we're just trending warmer and warmer as we head towards Friday, at least waking up. It is going to be breezy today. Easy to notice those winds in the teens. Windy tomorrow morning. This is borderline gusty with those low 20s. And that's going to be from mid morning until about lunchtime. It's all thanks to this very large system that we're tracking. So, there's a couple different layers to this. Right now, that warm front, it's pushing north in our region. So it's switching our winds out of the south. It's, of course, driving our temperatures up today. We've got a couple of showers here and there from it. Most of the rain and even the severe chances, you see that green there, that's marginal, stays to our north. So this is for today. Let's play it forward. This is Thursday. Again, that biggest risk for severe weather out of the region. It's more so Kansas City, Wichita over the plains. But then Friday, that's the day we need to be weather aware. That cold front begins to approach. It moves east. And as it's about to sweep the region, you can see those rain chances. It's also the chance for maybe some storms along the front line of that front. So marginal one out of five risk is uh, there for part of our region. Extended from Mount Vernon down towards Carbondale almost to Cape Girardeau, so it's only clipping a few of us. Storm Track 3 up always coming in handy, especially when we have such a busy week like this week. I mean, we've got the big temperature swing. We're tracking the upper 70s uh, today, tomorrow, and then by the end of this weekend, I mean, the upper 50s. And then also the chance for some isolated showers today, the scattered showers and storms on Friday. Just a lot going on lately in this week, and I feel like lately we